Hello! On this episode of Basic Arduino, we will look at how you can control up to 16 servos with your Arduino using a PCA9685 module. Arduino Unos, Pro Minis, and Nanos only have six PWM pins that you can use for controlling servos. But by adding one of these modules, you can control up to 16 servos. You can add multiple PCA9685 modules to control even more servos, but for this tutorial, we will stick with just one. Also, this module uses I2C communication, so it only takes up two of your Arduino's pins, A4 and A5. The first thing we need to do is connect our PCA9685 module to our Arduino board, so let's get started. For this tutorial, I will be using an Arduino Nano, but Pro Minis and Unos will also use the same connections. If you're using an Arduino Mega, the connections will be different, but we will cover them. Also, for this tutorial, I will be using two servos, but when we get to the Arduino sketch, I will show you how to add more. First, connect VCC on the PCA9685 module to the Arduino's 5 volt pin. Next, connect SDA to A4. If you are using an Arduino Mega, connect to pin 20 instead. SCL goes to A5. If you're using an Arduino Mega, once again, connect this to pin 21 instead. OE is not used. Connect the grounds between the PCA9685 and the Arduino. Next, we will connect the two servos, one to position three and the other to position eight. To power the Arduino, I will be using a nine volt battery. So I will connect the positive from the battery to the VIN pin on the Arduino board and the ground to ground. If you are using a regulated 5-volt power supply, you can go ahead and connect yours to the 5-volt pin on your Arduino instead. Next, we need to power the servos. The output from your Arduino board will not drive that many servos, so an external power supply will be necessary. It needs to be between 5 and 6 volts. More than 6 volts will damage the servos. Please use a voltmeter to check the power supply you are going to use. It may say five or six volts on it, but more than likely it will put out more than that and would then damage your servos. For this tutorial, I am only using two servos and only for a short amount of time. Therefore, I can avoid using the external power source and go ahead and instead connect the VCC from the PCA9685 to the five volt pin of my Arduino. If you go ahead and try this, please remember not to run it for very long or you may overheat and damage the Arduino board. Once you have everything connected, it should look something like this. Now let's move on to the sketch. The first thing we will need to do is get the library that we will be using. I tried out the Adafruit library that most people use, but found that the HCPCA 9685 library is much easier to use and just as powerful. If you look in the description below, you will find a link to this project's webpage where you can download it. After you download it, open up your Arduino IDE. Click on Sketch, and under the Include Library tab, select Add Zip Library. Navigate to where you downloaded the library to and select it. Now that the library is installed, click on File. Under the Examples tab, scroll down until you find HCPCA9685 and select the servo example. Before we go over how the sketch works, let's try it out and make sure everything's working. Scroll down the sketch until you find these two lines of code in the void loop. Change both of the zeros to threes. Then go ahead and upload the sketch to your Arduino. If everything is connected correctly, your servo connected to position three on the PCA9685 should be sweeping back and forth like this. Now that we have it working, let's go over how the sketch works and how to add more servos to it. 
To start with, we are including the HC PCA9685 library. Then, we are defining the I2C address of the PCA9685 module. The default address of the module is 0x40. Next, we are creating an instance of the library, naming it and setting the address. Moving on to the void setup, we are first initializing the library and setting it to servo mode. Then, we are waking up the PCA9685 by setting the sleep mode to false. Moving along to the void loop, we start by setting up an integer to store the servo's position. Then, we have two for loops to sweep the servo's position up and down. Unlike the servo library that is included with your Arduino's IDE, this library uses positions for the servo instead of the angle of the servo. You may need to increase or decrease these numbers a little bit for your particular servo. For the 9 gram servo, I am using the default 10 minimum and 450 maximum works fine. The first for loop sweeps the servo up from position 10 to position 450 with a 10 millisecond delay between positions. The second for loop does the opposite, sweeping the servo down from position 450 to position 10 with a 10 millisecond delay between each position. If you would like the servos to sweep faster or slower, just change the delay time in both of the loops. Now that we have went over the example sketch, let's look at how we can add more servos. In the void loops, first for loop, you will find this line of code. This is the code that defines which servo you want to write to and what value you want to write to it. This number defines the position on the PCA9685 you want to write to. Right now it is set to position 3. Next, we declare the value we want to write to the servo. POS is writing the value currently stored in the POS integer to the servo. To add another servo, just copy this line of code and paste it right below. Then simply change the 3 that was defining position 3 on the PCA9685 to 8. This will now write to the servo on position 8. Next, do the same thing in the second for loop. Now, instead of just one servo sweeping back and forth, both servos will sweep. Let's upload the sketch to our Arduino and try it out. That will conclude this episode of Basic Arduino. If you would like to learn how to use more than one PCA9685 module with your Arduino board to control even more servos, plus some other tips and tricks for the module, look in the description below for a link to that video. Thank you for joining us here today for this episode of Basic Arduino. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe.